And number two, one of the benefits of having good akhlaq is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you of your sins. Look at this hadith from Lama Sadiq alayhi salam. He says, Al-Khuluq al-Hasan yumithu al-Khati'ah kama tumithu al-Shamsan kama tumithu al-Shamsu al-Jaleed. Excuse me. <clears throat> Al-Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam says in this hadith, that having good akhlaq, virtues, they melt, they melt your sins in the same way that the sun melts ice. See how if you put ice in front of the sun, the bright day, how it slowly melts? This is what having good akhlaq does to your sins. So one of the ways in which Allah forgives us is if we have good akhlaq, if we're patient, if we're tolerant with other people, always smiling, we're trustworthy, we're honest, we're humble. These will help in purifying us from our sins. And the second hadith shows that the vice versa, the contrary is also true. The hadith of the Prophet says, Al khuluq al amal kama al -qall al -asal. The Prophet says that on the contrary, having bad akhlaq invalidates your good deeds. So good akhlaq purifies you from your sins. Bad akhlaq will destroy and prevent you and deny you from your good deeds. You do good deeds, but then you're very arrogant, you're very loud, obnoxious, and rude with everybody else. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will erase those good deeds. Allah will take away those good deeds from you. So that's why we have to be careful when it comes to, uh, uh, when it comes to our 